Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Neil Ars, and today I'm going to uh, go through, walk through a design that I have, uh, that I'm going to make with, uh, that will be making 12 rockets per second. That's quite an insane amount. So uh, that is what we're going to do. This is part Let's Play Plus Masterclass, and I'm just roaming around here on this planet so you can see what is up on this planet. We have a lot of, uh, of fractionators that we did some time ago we have also a lot of nighttime which we uh, always seem to have and i'm going to continue and we have a lot of processes that we built in the previous episode of sort of the let's play so we do have a lot of things already made here but what i want to do today is show you some crisp designs that will help you make 12 rockets per second which will be an absolute insane amount of uh, materials to, or insane amount of rockets to fire off and that will certainly help you build many 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 dyson spheres and i think that it might be a bit overbuilt but hey i love it and you're gonna love it too so how is this going to be a different build from uh, usual well i'm going to show you the build and we're going to build them together and uh, i'll be working working through them with you so the first thing we want to do is we want to make a build here see the thing is hmm i have actually the blueprints because that's the much better way of doing it is that i can show you the blueprint and then as it builds i will explain what it does here the biggest challenge will be positioning them correctly and i think that's going to be correctly ish do we think that no i don't think so that sounds more correctly ish there do we think that's correct and here nope uh press the B button to see if it is aligned on that line yes it is aligned it is aligned here so what is it we are building at this location this is you can see the rockets here the small carry rockets they take six seconds to build one and there are 12 here so that will build two per second and then because these are building speed 1.5 then it's going to be three six nine and twelve all the way up there all of these blueprints are of course available in link in the description below so don't you worry now, the, what we want to do here is we want to grab things from this location. I'm going to put in this one. And that means what we need to build in this episode is we need to build deuterium fuel rods. We need to build quantum chips. We need to build Dyson Sphere components. And Dyson Sphere components need also the frame materials. Now, I'm going to consider stuff like the processors that we already built to be just a basic material that we have available and the solar sails to be something we have available. Similarly here, we're going to make the plane filter, but we are not going to make the processors. On this one, the titanium alloy, we have done that. Super magnetic ring, we're going to assume that somewhere else. And the deuterium, we already have that with our fractionated design that we've built previously, but I have improved it, so maybe I should provide a blueprint for the improved version as well. So that means we have a lot of things to do, but these are already requesting. They are hungering for more stuff. And the first thing I want to do is work on the Dyson Sphere component. So if I want to make 12 of these, then I need to make 24 of the Dyson Sphere components. Let's have a look at the design for the Dyson Sphere components. All these designs are, well, really uh, a part that you can, if you really feel like it, you can start saying that it's boring because a, they are standard designs. I really like my standard designs, so uh, I don't like you calling them boring. You can call them efficient if you like. Um, I don't think that's correct, actually. No, it's not correct. So we're going to go with the big deconstructor here. That one. I love how easy it is. I just wish we had an undo. I'm going to build it again. And then the point is, it should be built on the full line, that line. There. All right, let's build this one and take a look at it. Let's take a look at how this much this one requires. This is eight seconds. And if I have 16 along this line, so that means this one creates two per second. And again, the crafting speed, so that means three per second, three, six, nine, 12. I like things that multiply by 12. I'm going to need 24 of them, so I need to stamp down one more of these designs. You can see how awesome this actually gets. And this is the real power of blueprints. I wonder if that was correct. It looks correct, yes. And I really wish you had more drones and faster drones, but that is what we are being we are requesting. What you can see here already is that this is being requested in because I always ha already have some solar sails built. I am requesting a process because we built that in the previous episode. So despite the fact that I haven't even put anything in here, then it still uh, gets started on actually working. As soon as it gets working, well, obviously it's not going to work yet because we don't have the frame materials. 
all of these things are designed so that the majority are built on the same planet you can see here i'm going to request the quantum chips locally and locally and locally because i don't want this to be something that's shared between all my other builds i want a dedicated build for the vast majority of the case that is uh, only supporting this there will be a lot of things that i don't build locally but that will be well there'll, there'll always be exceptions there are some things where i feel you know that's something i'm going to be building for the entire galaxy all at once and i guess we have nighttime at this point so let's just have a look this one is now 24 dyson sphere components or ninja stars and that's already coming in here these are coming in from somewhere else in the uh, in the system I don't have any warpers that's intentional because I want to build it inside the system and not request it anywhere else. So I have that on place and it's not going to work until we have the frame materials. Okay, so I just waited for the dawn to get to us and then we're going to look at the next build, frame material. Now frame material is a bit of a problematic thing. We need 24 of these and for every one we need three frame materials. So I need 72 frame material. That means we're going to build a big design of frame material and again you can see all my designs they to the greatest extent possible i don't even know if it's the same one uh the greatest extent possible have the same framework that's the one and that is i just think it's better to have these kind of of designs that look the same standardized we're going to be looking at this design as it gets built if we look at this one we have it every six seconds and i have 18 along this way so that means this three per second for each row multiplied by 1.5 because it is the crafting speed so it's four and a half and there are four rows that means this is 18 now i need to build four of these four times 18 is 70 72 so that is what we're going to do let me just build that for us So that is built and now we need to build all of these in here make sure that we have all the supplies and for that one as well and then we're going to take a look at the build these ones are provided okay let's take a look at the first one these are going out you can see the charging here and they are being sent out here to pick up particularly the carbon nanotubes that's built somewhere far away now these ingredients those are ingredients that i would call basic ingredients we are going to need a lot of carbon nanotubes so absolutely we need to find some spiny form planet some water planet full of spiny form and then transform that into lots and lots of carbon nanotubes but it will get in here and uh, while we are waiting for that i think it's just a good opportunity for me to just look go through these designs they are almost always the same if there are three ingredients in and unless the throughput of one of them is very high in this case it's not you can see that the throughput here is less than one per second so that means i can easily have 20 down here without any problems and i have 18 so not a problem this is not going to be over saturating or over consuming and then i'll have so basically inbound 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 outbound and just doing that pattern that is one of the standard patterns to rule the world and we are going to that it is again nighttime so we're just going to wait until we get some daytime and we get this one in production because as soon as this one actually picks up production then we will see that it works and then starts sending it onwards to the dyson sphere components and an onwards to the dyson sphere components will then start working because that's the only thing we're missing and then we'll be get that all the way up and that's one third of the carry rocket that's already being created then 
now Dawn is here and the materials are coming in also we uh, actually did not have enough uh, sodas so I just picked up more sodas more belts all that stuff that's gonna be burned through very very quickly for these builds and they are now all of them are operational and we start the production you can see we have the very first bits of frame material and we should be able to go up here and see that frame material is coming in 500 for this one and probably less for the other one since it's further away 200 looking good and that means we have the first bits of Dyson sphere component, not a lot, definitely not a lot, and I'm scaling it all the way up to 10,000. I just want to continue to build it for whatever reason. And then should be at some point here, we see the very first bits coming in here. We saw just saw something coming in, and we have another 100 coming in. All of the drones are set to 100% because I don't want excessive drone transport. Here we go. And a little blip coming in. Perfect. What is the next objective? Well, we have some time ago built this beautiful fractionator blueprint and now that I show it to you, then I then will have to, to provide the blueprint. It's a really, really nice blueprint and yeah, you get it. I'll add it to the list of the blueprints. So what is what are we going to use this for? Well, we are going to use some deuterium fuel and I have somehow also prepared that in advance. I hope that it's not like some people are like, ah, oh, it sucks, you just, you just stamp it down blueprints. Yeah, but you know, I'm also just showing you how awesome these designs are. And you can design your own thing. You can build a bigger, better, faster, stronger, whatever. These are the ways that I want to show to build it. And I can show you how that works. So this one is has been recently changed. And that means we use a lot less, well, half as much titanium and half as much super magnetic ring. But we still use 10 deuterium for each fuel and that means this thing is a whole designed towards the capacity of the belts we have you can see that they are coming in we also make sure that we get these on in here how much do we have here we have 12 on this row that means 12 that means i can do two per second and again that's going to be three per second because of the crafting speed so that's this one is doing 12. now if we recall up from our design up here each one of these these rockets require four. So if there's 12 rockets, then it's 48 deuterium fuel per second. And that means we are going to do another one. Let's see. And that's good on one line and that's good on the other line. Yes. And we just move down here. And that looks good here. And that one as well. Does that look good? It looks good. Let's get those done. We'll take one at a time. Again, this build here, you can see that if we just bother to do this, we get a full build out here. One of these with 12 on this lane. 12 of this will mean I create one of these per second and then crafting speed. That means I need 20 times one and a half. I need 30. So this one is the maximum I can do for one single belt. So that consumes exactly four belts of deuterium so 120 deuterium per second it is quite a lot and uh, it might also be a bit more than what my fractionator setup can can support but you know we'll do what we can at least it's close so the distance to travel is not going to be the most inf influential factor we are going to continue to build this one and as you can see we're just burning through all of our resources here but luckily i have done some calculations in advance so i am well prepared and should not run out of things unless it's uh, uh, yeah, unless I forget or decide to change some things here. And when this one's done, we can also put more drones and vessels in so we can get those in. As soon as this one starts working, which we will actually see that it starts working here. Here, these are working. The super magnetic ring, I will also bring them in locally. Actually, I think that's better in this case. Uh, whether you bring them in local or not is totally up to you, but I just want to bring it in local because I have some local I know and Super magnetic ring is one of those things that I haven't really just scaled up to industrial scale So it's basically burning through the uh, The stockpile by doing it this way Well, you can't have everything built at once. So here we go. That is now 48 deuterium per second being crafted all the, of this and nighttime has fallen again. Let's move on back to this part and we should be able to see. Hmm. Should be able to see some deuterium coming in. Why not? Why no deuterium inbound yet? Oh, this one is not there. 
it's not there yet. Why is this one set to 1400? It should be set to 5000. Hmm. It, it is. Oh, there they are. Super magnetic rings are coming in. And that should give us the first production. There. Where are they? Yeah, and they're huffing and puffing, so that is what I wanted to see. You want to see that working. This one is just going to be a bit behind. Nope, it's not going to be behind. This is also working. We'll wait for this one to get up to 100, and as soon as it hit 100, we should see it. There we go. We saw it being picked up immediately, and are we getting something in here? Yes, we're getting 600 in here, while the Dyson Sphere component are already uh, fully saturated. It's not a lot, but it's uh, just something. So the only thing we need now is quantum chips. Isn't it just progressing really easily now? Let's uh, find a way, the place to build quantum chips and wait for dawn to, uh, to hit us at that point. And so as dawn is slowly approaching, we found a new location where we want to build. This is where we now want to build quantum chips. Now you could argue, and I think that it would be justified to argue that, that you shouldn't build it dedicated for the rockets, but actually you should build it yourself somewhere else. I agree, but that's not how I wanted to do in this episode. I wanted to show you how this, but you can just put these on a random planet all by themselves for whatever you need. There. That's quantum chips. Let's have a look at what the quantum chips look like. They are on a six second cycle. And remember, we need two quantum chips for one titanium. No, not two quantum chips for one rocket so I need 24 and I have in this one six six seconds so there's 12 here that means two per second for each row and again crafting speed that's three per second three six nine twelve I'm gonna build two of these I do try to do every one every single one of my builds as something with 12 and that's why also why I decided to build 12 titanium per second if you want to build it half size that be my guess then you just only need one of these and there aren't really any of the builds that I use one of so all of these things can be divided by two very very easily and in retrospect maybe I should have not gone so overboard stuff like 120 processes per second is a bit insane but hey I am nothing if not insane when it comes to building games here now that's good the processes we built out in previous episodes it's all good we got it we just don't have the plane filter and the plane filter is disgustingly awful this takes 12 seconds to build so yeah that's that's a thing right that's a thing we're gonna be building that here oh dear Pro plane filters plane filters are the worst and then you think uh, sorry um, what are they called casimir crystals they are also bad but they're nothing compared to these filters here that one let's start by building this this is on a 12 second cycle, so one row here consists of 12 assemblers, that means one per second. Crafting speed 1.5, so it's one and a half, times four, six per second. So this thing is only six per second. I tried to look at whether I could double it, but there wasn't quite room for it within these, uh, these constraints. So you really can see that we are going to need a few of these as well. That one, and we also need one down here. In this case, we built three of those. And you know what, let's just go crazy and see if I can find where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be here. That one and that one. Here. And there. All right. That's just a bit of work to build it, but that's not going to be... Uh, not gonna take long with all of my drones here what I can do in the meantime I can just pop some things in here and some things in there what you can see here is the casimir crystal is something I consider a standard material I have it somewhere else and on another planet I have this and uh, so I'm just gonna request it I think it will go cover stuff like uh, casimir crystals in an episode that is more dedicated towards the first time you use the casimir crystals which I can't really remember where that is did we get this one and uh, nope we did not so let's get these here and you know this is so if this is only six then this is six 12 18 this is 36 and i need 48 of these because i need two plane filters so i'm not even there yet i am not even there yet oh, uh, always point north all my builds are when pointing north they go clockwise around the planet that is a very hard constraint and I will never deviate from that constraint unless I forget it and then I will deviate and then I'll hate it and then I'll rebuild it. Trust me, I have built an entire half a smelter planet that was turned the wrong way. I had to rebuild it. 
Uh, that was a uh, long and arduous task. Luckily, an off-camera task. Ah, I tried to undo because I think I did it wrong. Nope, no, it was good. It was good. I can't believe I have not made a mistake yet. Uh, we're going to put that one in here, that one in here. Good. So they are now, all of these have what they need. What you can also see is they are not requesting any warpers. So they're not going outside of this area. Uh, outside of this system because I want the system here to be taking care of all the stuff we need and if I want to change that then I want to do it sort of deliberately Yep, let's fast forward on the creation of this part So that is all of our plane filters. Let's see if we have enough to put in here. I do not. Okay. So let's uh, get some more of that and more of that. So we can actually get everything inbound here. Inbound and inbound. And the last one in inbound here and inbound here. Okay. So what are we seeing? We're seeing that these are being brought in. Yes. We don't have titanium glass. And if you look at it, then we see that one one plane to requires two titanium glass, so now we need to have 96 titanium glass. And once we have 96 titanium glass, I think we're actually going to get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to land up here because over this there is just enough room for us to build titanium glass built. But it's no fun building it at night, so let's just wait until morning and then build it here. And dawn is here, so let's uh, build the next part. And let's go in here, and that is under the small carrier rockets, titanium glass. And we'll need to build two of these. I just happen to think that two of those would be just the right number we'd want. Um, uh, is that the one? I think so. Looks very good. And let's go in here and just see how it is. So we need 96 per second. And this one gets two per five second. So if I make 20 down here, then that is eight per second times one and a half. That's 12 per second, 12, 24, 36, 48. So, just two of these, and then we're good to go. That also looks like the good number, a uh, good location. We're gonna follow this, and it is on that line, and it's on that line. All of these are built on the line, so that you can see this here. I think this might also be the time, since I actually went out here. You will see that there are some fragments of, uh, of a Dyson sphere in the background that I have not talked about, and that is deliberate because, you know, I think it's just more reasonable for me to build all of the rockets here and then start launching it. But, you know, I had to do some testing before this recording this episode, as you can probably see. So I wanted to just burn through those and that, that. But from a story perspective, it of course makes sense that we build the rockets and then in the next episode we use the rockets for something for for building a Dyson sphere or two maybe that just I hope that makes more sense so uh, you will just excuse me that things don't always seem to come in the right sequence but if you've been keeping an eye on this series you might have noticed a few things with the series that are not really in the correct sequence of events but I try to build in the sense in the way that it tells the better story I hope you can see here titanium glass and water, all our ingredients that we need to get inbound. They are all what I would call basic ingredients. <laughs> it turns out the water was actually the worst one to get in because I didn't have any water in the system. So I had to warp in water. That is so embarrassing. But it being warped in here, water is, um, is coming in and then we can make the titanium glass that should be coming in here. And that actually completes all of the work. So we're gonna wait for all of the things coming in. Well, are we really gonna wait because they are coming in here? <laughs> Wow, that was quick. 
That was not a long wait. So we're gonna wait for the water then. We're gonna wait for the water and once the water comes in, we're gonna be following the, the path of the production. So the titanium glass goes into the plane filter, goes into the quantum chips. Oh, we are already having it. Okay, never mind, never mind. It is already starting to work. Again, this build is exactly the same as almost every single of the other builds. So they are really consistent. As we go to here, that one, we are going to see this being picked up. We're just going to wait for that one to come in. We're going to follow it. We're going to follow that all the way through and see if all the way to make the next one. Here. Yeah. Follow. Follow that drone. Flying in to a random location here. Yes, we got the 100. Uh, what? Ha! Huh. That's funny. Let me just fix that. Also in the blueprints. Damn. How, how did that miss... All right, let me fix that. And they're now all fixed. <laughs> Can't believe, of course, it's. this is why you do the tests. You want to make sure that it actually works because, uh, well, yeah, you want to make sure. So here we have the plane filter. We're going to be following a plane filter that goes over towards this side. This will be where we get plane filters inbound. And that one, yeah, we got 200 inbound here and we don't have anything inbound here. One going back. We got a few things coming in here. 300 for this one. Nothing for the other one. It is just random which one get it, but uh, they will eventually get it. You can see here, we have uh, gotten a few and we're now up to a few quantum chips. Things will come in and they will stabilize. There we go. Someone is coming in here to pick up these quantum chips and we are gonna be following the quantum chips to where they are going because they will be heading over to, mm, they'll be heading over to the small carry rockets and when we get the small carry rockets we'll see where they go that one i think is here for the quantum chips yes it is and we're following this drone all the way up to our quantum chips oh, it's uh, flying at a decent speed right now that's very nice and we are now dropping it off Come on, there we go, it's being dropped off. And what we see is that we have the first small carry rockets, they are being provided locally and globally. So it should be possible for something to come pick it up. We have the actual rocket launch is on a different planet. So it has to go all the way up to 1000 before it starts. It'll come pick this one up and go somewhere else. That's at least what I think it is, if I remember to set the minimum load of vessels correctly as well. But you can see we have it. It's not quite 12 per second yet because quantum chips are not keeping up. That's the last thing we activated, but it will keep, uh, it will eventually keep up as everything just continues to go. Uh, power wise, we are not really using too much power for all of this. There's nothing like super power hungry on this planet. It's just a lot of assemblers that are working and let's just fly around. So what I wanted to show with this is the incredible power of the blueprints. We have built all of that in about half an hour's time. We built just an absolute insane amount of, uh, of construction here that we just fly out through the uh, here. And then we go over here to the plane filters. Also pretty cool. Lots of plane filters, lots more plane filters. Getting over here to the quantum chips. They are working. Yep. And uh, up here for the titanium glass. We had that one in, in advance, but that's also blueprintable because that's a very nice design and we come over here to our deuterium fuel and we loop all the way around to our frame materials there and there looping up here back again to dyson sphere component and gathering all the way at the back at the end here with our small carry rocket so now the question is how the hell do we lay out launch 12 rockets per second because that is an absolutely insane amount of rockets to launch but that is going to be a headache for another day I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope this uh, thing here, combination of uh, Let's Play and Masterclass is useful, helpful. You can find all of these cool blueprints, including the fixed plane filter build in the description below. There's a link to my website where you can download it as a zip file for all the ones that are included in this, uh, in this episode. 
let me know what you feel about this type of thing and then uh, what i want to do sort of from a let's play onwards is looking at science which means that it's going to be nice to have like dedicated science builds we can do something like this as well but just take a planet and go like this planet is going to make blue science or green science or red science or whatever color science we have and then uh, ship it off from a a single planet perspective that might be a cool thing to do so you can uh, get like a nice big mega base build all wrapped up in one Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button. If you don't, then uh, let me know what you'd rather want me, want me to do instead. And I will be back in the next episode. Until then, take care, stay effective.